Hello guys, welcome to the second part of the CAN network system. Again, we are, we are talking about the functions of the CAN network and also some issues and solutions that uh, the system has to offer. The, later down the video, I will answer the, the question of about the gas consumption or fuel consumption when going downhill. Should you go without uh, gear, in neutral or in gear? Another practical uh, case here with the wipers, for example, did you notice those cars that have the, the wiper blades, the arms, the wiper arms that are like this, like the Genie, like this, okay? If you know, or if you must know, that system normally, not always, but normally it has two motors, two electrical motors, okay? And they are not, usually, not connected mechanically 307 excluded but 407 it is like this the Peugeot brand now how does the, the motors know the position because if you uh, get to the car and pull on the, the wiper arms you can put put it in any position you want and as soon as you open the, the door or turn on the ignition switch the wipers actually go to the normal position a bit at a time to understand the position and put themselves on the correct position. How does it do that? Well, the motors have to have plus and minus, right? They also have to have a communication between them to synchronize that movement and also communication link with uh, the module. The module can be the same as the body computer. Sometimes it is, sometimes it is not. Sometimes this is this one. Sometimes it is the same. It's inside, like a master and a slave. Yes, the Lean network still uses the system of master and slave. The CAN network, not so much. The VAN, yes. Another video, okay? I swear. <laughs> okay, so you have a synchronization between the motors, the electrical motors on this system. Imagine this, one of them fails. If it is the lower one to fail, the lower one keeps, low, keeps on the lower position and only the upper one works. If it is the upper one to, to malfunction, the upper one goes to the up position, the vertical position, and the lower one works normally. That is an excellent system. It really is a good system. Okay, so one more feature on the Lean system, on the communication systems. I don't want to talk too much about Lin, but sometimes it interacts with everything else. So I have really to uh, put this in here because it's really fun. It's really cool. I really like this stuff. Sorry. A cool feature here on the parking brake. Not all makes and models use this, this system that I'm about to tell you, but on PSA models, yes, I really did work a lot on PSA models and they have some systems uh, very early. So the electrical parking brake on this, these cars, the 3008 and 5008 and some cars now, but those two were the, the first cars to have this button. And this system is very clever because if you try this on a Volkswagen products, maybe you are <laughs> in for a treat. If you are going 100, whatever the speed you want and you lose brakes for some reason, lose your pedal, lose whatever. Your foot comes, goes numb, something. You press or pull on the sparking brake and the rear wheels will not lock. Actually, what happens is this parking brake sends the info to the ESP AFB, and ABS and it sees 100 kilometers an hour and it thinks I cannot lock the rear wheels like this. It's impossible. So I will break the four wheels like I would break with the pedal, with my foot. It will do that with very, very firm results. It will break the wheels without locking, without ABS uh, acting up, nothing like that, unless you have plastic tires, Chinese, yeah. And uh, as soon as the car hits zero kilometers an hour, then it acts on the parking brake. So very, very cool feature on that part. 
on the alphas uh, i do not have enough info for that yet like i said here in portugal julius stelvios are almost not existent so yeah and the, the fiat cars are always with manual handbrake so but on the psa there is now our family too you have this system and possibly will converge with the fca products as well one more thing here with the control units this can network or lean network whatever network you may have or one does not matter this network will not feed the units this is not here to to power the units for that you always 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 have external connections on the same plug to have plus and minus sometimes more than one plus in case of the ecu sometimes the plus first goes to a uh, a relay or the ignition ignition switch in case of the abs esp also goes to your uh, brake switch okay so this can network or any network will not in normal terms if in, unless you have a malfunction okay will not feed the control units the control units work only with the plus and minus that comes from through the battery through the alternator for the relays fuses whatever this is only communication it is not uh, does not feed anything okay even the lean network at, that works at 12 volts will not feed anything unless someone puts an android radio in that's cool uh let's talk about that a bit okay so you have a normal factory radio and you have to and you want to scratch that and put there a big old mega android with that all that stuff and it's great i like it very much and when you are doing the wiring you encounter the negative that comes from the battery sure you encounter a positive that comes from the battery sure and you encounter a positive that comes from the ignition switch wrong well it was like that but now it is not what you are encountering normally you do this when the car is stationary you turn off the car about a minute or two ago and you encounter 12, 12 volts there from the can network this network here when it's at idle not the car the network itself we switch off the car it goes before it goes to sleep it likes to go there and talk to, to each other saying goodbye bye see you tomorrow and whatever and after that the network from 4.5 goes to 12 and then goes to zero that 12 there is there for a reason okay does not matter right now but what matters is as you are installing your android or some other uh, head unit you will encounter 12 volts momentarily and sometimes they coincide with the ignition moment and sometimes you can turn on and off your android with this but the problem is this 12 volt of that now remember that we have two lines to of can network to go to, the, to your android and you are creating a disturbance of the can network and now you have issues and fault codes all over the units because of that because the wiring is not correct what you should do is to make sure that those 12 volts are there permanently are there when you turn on the key and they stay on 12 not four and a half and when you turn off they disappear immediately if they not disappear immediately they are not 12 volts from the ignition switch hello in that case what you should do is to find on your fuse box for example a 12 volt that that switches on when you are switching on the ignition for example the uh, cigarette lighter okay now you have a positive from your fuse and now you have your android working correctly if you want i do a video just for that okay more specific on the car not only here on the whiteboard about fuel consumption if you use your car in neutral when going down the road if you have a euro 5 
and down car, you use the same amount of fuel that you use in idle. So in idle, you use about 1%. It is actually less than that, but let's call it 1% to be easier to understand, okay? If you are in gear or not, as soon as you are out of the gas pedal, you are using always the same amount of fuel, okay? If you are in neutral, of course the car has to keep running, but if you are in gear, the engine is just revving higher, but the fuel consumption is the same, no matter what your trip computer says, okay? If you have an Euro 5 and up car, the story is different. In order to have less emissions, if you are going down the road and put your car in neutral, yes, you have the 1% for the idle because the engine must keep running, but if you are in gear, any gear, the, uh, the engine actually uses 0%. And why is that? Because it knows the speed of the car. Knowing the speed of the car and the, that the, you are in gear, it knows also that you are in fourth gear, for example, it says, now I'm going downhill, no gas pedal is applied, I do not need any fuel. I will switch off the fuel injectors because I need to keep my emissions low. So on a modern car, you must use your car in gear. If you are not doing that, you are actually using more fuel. That is crazy, guys.